Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to descale your Nespresso a coffee maker. So I've got the instruction book out and it tells us we need to get some Nespresso descaling liquid. Now you can buy it on Amazon or you can buy it off of Nespresso. It's cheaper off the Nespresso website. But that box comes with two packs of descaling agent and each pack is kind of a soft pouch and it contains so it contains 3.4 ounces of the descaling agent so I'm, I'm going to simulate that descaling agent here with water so I'm, I've got about four ounces of descaling agent I'm going to pretend now now I have used the Keurig descaling solution but the Keurig descaling solution is citric acid now, Nespresso wants you to use lactic acid, and that's what comes in that pack. So, I'm going to recommend using the Nespresso descaling agent because it is just a little bit of a different chemical than citric acid. So, we're going to be using the lactic acid. But again, I'm going to simulate that here with just water. I want to show you how to do it on the machine. It's kind of complicated how the machine, how you get it into descaling mode. So, the instructions say put uh, four ounces of the descaling solution in the water tank. So we're gonna come over here to the water tank. I've got it emptied. You're gonna to wanna to empty out your fresh water. So let's simulate. That's the Nespresso descaling agent. Now it says add 17 ounces of just water. Okay, so again, I've got my measuring cup here. It's 16 ounces, but I'm just want another mark above the 16. That's 17 ounces. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this now in the water tank with the descaling agent. Okay, so then we put the water reservoir back. It says to lift this up. Make sure there's no uh, pod in here. Make sure you don't have any pods. Make sure that cup is empty. Make sure you've got it plugged in. I've got it plugged in. And make sure you've got it turned on. Okay, you wanna wait and make sure that light is on steady. Okay, so these next steps, you've got to do some timing. So to enter the descaling mode, we're going to hold this button for seven seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll go to eight. Okay, it's blinking fastly. Now we got to go to, we're going to go to lock. And then we're going to go to unlock. And then we're going to hold this button again. Seven seconds. One, two, three, four five six seven i've got to put something underneath here and then to start the descaling process we're going to lock it and push the start button the machine will automatically complete so that starts the descaling process so if you see i've got a container here and I may need to get another container because it, it may run all that water through there. I'm not sure. I'll have to see. But it says it's going to stop automatically. So during this, that is on, that's blinking fast, fast. And it kind of starts and stops uh, spitting water out. So I'm going to time this and we'll see how long it takes. Now towards the end of the process, it just sounds like that thing keeps spinning and it keeps spitting water out almost continuously. Up until this point, it was kind of just stopping and starting. See, this does a really good job of cleaning it. And it, it is going to run that whole tank through. It's going to run it dry. So I imagine it's going to stop here in, in a second. Okay, yeah, it's really spinning now. It sounds like it's going to stop. Okay, and there it stopped automatically. The light is still flashing. Okay, so we don't want to do anything right now. We want to, so we want to get the tank. We're going to take the tank off. I'm going to rinse this out with soap and water. And then we're going to put some water in it. Okay, so it just says, so I emptied this out and washed this out on the inside. It just says fill it up more than halfway with fresh water. 
So we leave the machine alone when, when we do this. We want that still flashing really fast because it's in descaling mode still. Now it says we're going to, when ready, push the button to rinse the machine. The ma machine will stop automatically. So now it's time to do the rinse. Make sure you've got a container and I'm just going to press this button one more time. And now it's going to do the rinse. Okay, so it's kind of starting and stopping. The water comes out and then it stops for a minute. Okay, so towards the end of this rinse cycle, it just kind of continuously spits water out. It's So how much ever water you put in this, so I had mine was a little bit more than half. So if I had just put half, it might be done by now. But it's gonna run that, it's gonna run that tank completely out. Because towards the end, it just it just continuously spins and continuously spits water out. So this is when I did the, the descaling. This is the rinse. I, mean, I, I got to have another container. Okay, so it's done. It, it emptied that the water reservoir. This light is still flashing, so it doesn't automatically come out of descaling. The, the instructions say to exit the descaling, hold the button for at least seven seconds. So I'm going to do this again. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now the light went steady. I'm going to go back and I'm going to open it up. Now it says to let it dry. It recommends letting it dry for 10 minutes before using it. I don't see that it got super wet everywhere, but they definitely want you to let it dry. So in the beginning, I should have said this in the beginning. So the machine is equipped with a descaling alert. The light will blink alternately three times, then become steady. They're talking about this light here. So if it's blinking at you three times and then becomes steady, it's time to descale. It says the machine can only be operated to make coffee a few more times. Once the alert appears before descaling becomes mandatory. So you're going to have to descale this. This machine is smart enough to know that um, when, when you descale it, it resets it in the inside or checks the heating element. I'm not sure which, but you're going to need to know how to descale it. And these machines are really sensitive. This is a very expensive machine, so I would definitely keep up on the descaling. So if your light is flashing at you three times, it won't be long before it's not going to brew any coffee at all. So... You may have a problem of it's just not brewing coffee and it just needs descaled. So again, you can get it off of Amazon. It seemed to be a little cheaper on the Nespresso website. But I definitely recommend descaling this. Um, I would stay on top of it. If I brewed a cup of coffee every day, I would do this every about every four months. If I brewed maybe three or four cups a week, I might do it every five or six months. So total time was about 30 minutes, which isn't bad. I like that the machine is automatic. You don't have to sit and babysit it. Um, you just got to kind of come check on it. Each thing took about 15 minutes. So, but it, you, it's loud enough you can hear it when it's kind of stopped doing its thing. So if you got any questions on how to descale this, leave them in the comments below. I check my comments on a daily basis. Um, thanks everybody for watching. And if you could, please like and subscribe.